Hello all traders. Today is Tuesday, 8th of October 2024 and we're going to look at some of the trade that we're going to take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 futures if we see low risk opportunities. As you see on the macro chart of one hour, the price was fluctuating around the previous day close and low during the Asian session and it started to go up during the London session. And by looking at 10 minute macro chart, we see that the price just has started to go up after New York market opening and it's volatile and it's in narrow range. So our plan of action is to wait for the price to calm down and go higher and test this level of resistance and get rejected. We take sell short positions repeatedly in this downtrend channel. And if the price goes down and retests this level of the support, we take long positions also in the uptrend channel. Anyway, as you see from the daily chart, the market is in narrow range and highly volatile. Therefore, in this narrow range, we just go for very quick scalp and a small profits, and we're not expecting to catch any runners. So stay tuned, and we're going to update you with any trade that we take today. So we're back and the price broke up and reached now the previous level of resistance and therefore we're taking sell short positions with setup B first and then any pullback will be taken with setup C and we have extra limit orders for better entry price. We are managing the positions aggressively if we don't see the sellers are pushing the price lower strongly. So taking more sell short positions. The sellers didn't push the price lower strongly, so I closed them manually. So we wait for some deeper pullback and re-enter again with setup C on NASDAQ. And we're waiting also for the limit order to be filled for the long positions on S&P 500 and Dow Jones. We just had one long position on S&P 500 which was closed with profit and now the buyers are getting stronger so I may take just long position if I see another deeper pullback because the TKMIC shows that the buyers are coming back so I set limit order here on NASDAQ uh, which was filled and I just closed it for a small profit so we wait for the price to clear this area and we have a well established uptrend with good momentum and come back. Now we have a good uptrend with good momentum and we're going to take long positions repeatedly with setup T. And the price is close to the previous level of resistance so we have to act very fast and it's very choppy. So I took one long position on Dow Jones. So we're entering another long positions because we see the buyers are coming back on NASDAQ. I just think the target and that also filled. So we're back in the afternoon and we have very strong uptrend. So we're taking setup T repeatedly with every pullback. But the price on NASDAQ is at the resistance area. So I just set one limit order. and enter sell short position on NASDAQ and also set long positions on Dow Jones that has a still room to go up. Those positions were filled and closed for quick profit. The buyers are coming back so I entered manually another long positions on NASDAQ and close it also for a quick profit. So that's enough for the day and let's look at the stats. All the signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funding accounts. And as you see, the performance on this account is positive, showing the profit factor of 3.9, which is coming from 71% win rate, 84% from the long positions, and 50% from eight sell short positions. And also the average win to loss ratio, which was 1.56. The largest winning trade was 250 from sell short positions and the largest losing trade was 179 from long positions. So I hope this trade taken by the past system for fast scalping is useful for you 
and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.